Hey guys, today I am here with a 2015 Challenger. We have had an issue with the carrier bearing. It has failed. The rubber piece around the metal bearing has failed. The stock design is kind of messed up. It's not centered and it only takes 12 pounds of force to actually move the rubber, which obviously can cause failures. So today I'm here with the upgraded JXB Performance carrier bearing for this vehicle. All right, so the first step in getting this carrier bearing to the point where you can get the old one out and the new one in, first step we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna remove this entire DOS system. Other people just kind of lower it a little bit. Because all I have is a giant die grinder to cut the old bearing off, I'm gonna take the entire exhaust system off from that point back. So tell me when. So that is a little hanger for the exhaust system. And that way you can unbolt pretty much that entire back exhaust system and it'll just hang there. So you don't have to actually support it right away. All right, so instead of taking the exhaust off the very front, because I am like 100% certain I will be breaking those bolts if I try to do that, I'm gonna be taking it off right here. Now I've already had this part, so for all of you guys that are gonna think this looks way too easy, it's because it is. When you first take these off, you need to take the clamps off, pry them out of the way. These have little breaks on the tubes itself. You can pry it open and stretch that and widen it. You can use some penetrating oil, kind of help it out. When I put this back together, I put a thin film of grease on this because I knew I was going to be taking it back apart. So don't judge how easy this is based on my video because I've already had it work. But we're going to take these clamps off and then we're going to take the exhaust off the hangers in the back and then me and my boyfriend are going to jiggle this out of here and lower it and get it out of the way because I just don't want to deal with it being in it. Alright, so this is actually what we're facing. That's not supposed to do that. Get a close up look. When you look at this, you will see that the rubber mounting inside this bracket is not centered. I don't know why Mopar did that, but this car only has 80,000 miles on it. So that's not like, that shouldn't be normal. As you can see, how far back that is supposed to set. It doesn't make sense to me. I don't understand why they did that, but JXB has a fix for that.
So, I'm going to show you why this stock bearing is so much worse than the new JXB bearing. So, this is how the stock bushing sits in there. It does not... does not go around the center. It is not centered. This attaches, ru the rubber attaches like that on the stock one. Obviously this one's been ripped apart, but as you can see, that doesn't make any fucking sense why they would do that. Like that's a tiny little bit of rubber that is holding that together on a car that is a muscle car. Like this is designed for racing. Why would they do that? Beyond me. Now let me show you the JXB design. All right, so I got the JXB bearing mocked up for you. Like I've said before, this is a two-piece bearing. This is not just a two-piece housing, like the bushing and rubber that they give you that goes around the stock metal bearing is all two-piece. So you do not have to remove the driveline frame. But let me show you how much better this is. It's centered and everything. So that's the mock-up. As you can see, centered. Obviously, it is not bolted down all the way yet. I'm actually going to Loctite this just to make sure, but look at how much better that looks. Like, that looks good. That is going to last forever. 